Now we're going to see how regression can be used to find different problems, uh, equations for different problems that we've done algebraically. So this first question says, find the equation of a line that passes through the points 236 and 5, 121.5. Here we have the traditional work that we did in a previous lesson where we plugged both points into mx plus b, shown here, and then we used a system to solve for the m and the b values. When we want to use regression, first off, we notice this is a line. So when we pick a type of regression, we'll pick linear. I'm going to put those points in a table. And then I'm going to put these in my stat menu and choose linear regression. Now, unlike the problem on the previous problem on the previous page where we did the four types of regression, this one we're going to find that perfect line because it's just two points, so there's one line that goes through them, and that line will go directly through both points. So over here, um, I go to stat, and edit, and since my lists are cleared, I can just enter the information in. So my two points are two, and actually I'm going to enter them this way, enter my axis first. So two and five for the axis, and over I have 36 goes with two, and 121.5 goes with the five. Then I go to my stack, calc, and number four is linear regression, so I pick that one. My L1 and L2 are pasted, and I can calculate it. So if I look at this equation, the A value is 28.5, which is what I saw from my algebraic method, and my B value is negative 21, so I see that it gives me this same equation. So I'm still going to write it down here just to show that with that regression, I got the same equation. Now, on your assessment, if the problem says to do this algebraically, regression is not an algebraic method, so this would not count for full credit. But it is a valid way, and it will get the correct equation for this problem. So looking at the second one, this is our exponential function where we're given two points. Um, so same deal. Here's my algebraic work solving with a system. I'm going to make a table to find my regression. This will be exponential for the type. So I put my points in a table, 2, 192, and 5, 12,288. So over to our stat menu. I am going to have to clear my list. So I put my cursor up on the top. I press clear, never delete. Otherwise the whole list goes away and that's kind of an issue. Clear, enter, and my list information is um, ready to be re-entered. So my first point is two, and my second point has an x value of five. My first point's y value is 192, and the second point's y value is the 12,288. Stat, calc, exponential regression is down the menu a bit. If I can remember that zero, I can also just press the zero. Go through our menu. And we see on this one, a times b to the x, that's the form we want. And we have the 12 and the 4, just like we see from the traditional work. So this is 12 times 4 to the x. The next few problems are something that we didn't do exactly traditionally. Um, we did kind of simpler problems of them, but we just want to see how we could use regression for these. So this says, write an equation in standard form for a quadratic polynomial that has zeros of negative 5 and 2. So we did do that. We wrote quadratics where we knew the roots, we changed the signs to make the factors, but then we always gave the lead coefficient. In this problem, it says we also know that it passes through 3, negative 24. So when I'm using regression, I want to translate this information into points that I can put into a table. So I have the point negative 5, 0, right? A 0 means that we are on a graph on the x-axis. So the x value is negative 5, the y value is 0. So corresponding to the 2 is 2, 0. And then the point that I'm directly given, sorry, that is 3, negative 24. 
They want quadratic, so that's the table regression I'm going to pick. Um, bring up the calculator. Just a reminder, in the last video I made when I was introducing this, I showed how to do all this on Delta Math. So if you are stuck without a, a graphing calculator, um, I would go back and watch that video because that will show you how to do these. Any regression on Delta Math is possible except for the cubic, which is our next problem, um, but most of them you can do. So stat calc and then the quadratic regression is number five. So I see my ax squared plus bx plus c, negative 3, negative 9, 30. So negative 3x squared, negative 9x plus 30. So I'm just plugging that into the template they gave me, ax squared plus bx plus c, with those three parameters. The next one is very similar. It says write an equation in standard form for a cubic function that has x-intercepts given by this set, negative 3, 1, and 7 and which passes through negative 2, 54. So I'm going to make this table. Remember, zeros, those are my x values, my y value is 0. And then negative 2, 54. So we'll go ahead and enter this one. Clear my list. And three, one, seven, negative two, and zero, 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 fifty four. I'm going to go to stat calc and I'm on cubic regression, so I choose number six. And here is my cubic regression. So I'm plugging in now four parameters, right? Four different values to this function. Um, so that gives me y equals 2x cubed minus 10x squared minus 34x plus 42. So we have one more problem here, uh, quite similar. It says find the equation of a quadratic, so we're going back to quadratic regressions, function that passes through these three points. So we definitely didn't do something like this, um, but I have three points, none of them are zeros, uh, but I'm gonna set them up in a table, um, and then go from there. I do notice one of them, zero, three, is the y-intercept but that doesn't really make a difference. It doesn't need to be the y-intercept. This would still work as long as I have three points. So we'll go over here. Um, I made these all work out pretty nicely so we don't have a lot of decimals going on, but that would be fine if I entered one of these and I had decimals. Um, I don't believe this one has decimals either, but we'll see what happens when we go through. So zero, one, two, and three, negative four, negative nine. Stat, calc, number five is quadratic regression. And we get one x squared minus eight x plus three. So y equals one x squared. I don't have an answer for this one. Uh, so minus eight x plus three. Now, if you went back and looked through, one thing you would notice is that the number of points provided on each problem is equal to the number of parameters or AB or ABC, ABCD values that you need to find. So on this one, my table had three points and I had to find three parameters. And in general, that's the minimum number of points you need to define some sort of curve. And when I'm given that number of points, there's one type of what that curve that I can find. So on the cubic here, I had four points because we needed A, B, C, and D. On my exponential and linear, which 
answer back on this page because it's exponential. I just needed to find an A and a B. So two points gives me a unique exponential function. 12 times square root of the x is the only exponential function that goes with those points. If I try to find a quadratic function but that goes between those two points, there's actually a ton of different parabolas depending basically on vertical stretches that will go through those two points. Um, and you can kind of think about it. I'm just going to put down two points. When I'm talking about a quadratic, it could be here, right? it could be here, it could go in the other direction. So that's why if you tried to do a quadratic with two points uh, in regression, it wouldn't work because there's, no, there's not one unique graph that works for them. That makes sense with systems because we know that however many variables I'm solving for, that's how many equations I need. Each point provides us with an equation. 